Now you can see from the top of the screen there, as always for these tutorials, I'm in the playpen. And as I've said before, anyone can have access to this. If you don't have this uh, under your environments, just give us a ring or send us an email and we will get the playpen access to add your, to your account. It's where you can experiment and make any changes and play what if games on the data and it won't have any repercussions. So it's a really good place to learn. So as I say, we're going to be adding an assessment. Uh, so any new chief instructors or anyone that's been asked to do this, this is the process for adding an assessment to the system. So we're just going over to the assessments tab here and clicking new assessment request. Now quite a lot of these boxes um, you won't have to modify too much and any assessments is a pretty simple process once you know the drill. So for the assessment type we're adding an award. You can see there there's also proficiencies. Well, this will be the subject of another tutorial that I'll upload soon. And I'm going to set the dates for today just for example purposes. And the time doesn't really matter, we're just doing this for example purposes, but when you're creating your assessment please make sure you put all the correct information in here. For the award type, to be honest, you never really need to select this because you might as well just click the awards drop down and just choose the one you're doing. So for the purposes of this example, I'm going to just type in the bronze medallion. Uh, when you click on that long drop down list you can see there's a huge number of awards in there. Uh, if you type starting, um, start typing the initial few letters of the assessment you're looking for it will come up on the screen. So I just typed BR and it went to bronze, it saves a little bit of time. So now you can see we've got this field here for the units of competency and it's already pre-filled some of it because of course it's not as simple as calling it the bronze medallion. Uh, it's actually comprised of all these different modules uh, which are recognized in the workplace. With regard to contact information, just enter your own details here if you're the uh, instructor and you're entering these. This can be picked up by a branch or whoever needs to modify this assessment after the fact. And scrolling a little bit further down the list, we have our assessor section. So I'm going to speed things up slightly and put in somebody I know is in the list. And we'll just wait for that name to appear. Now, when it's searching the database, it does, of course, check that the assessor that you're trying to choose is proficient themselves. So if you're putting somebody in there and their name isn't coming up, then that's probably the deal. They need to make sure that their assessing qualifications are proficient. So uh, Gary Daly came up there and I just ticked him over into the selected box and he's now down on this assessment as the assessor. With the trainers, you don't have to put anything in here. You can if you wish. Some clubs like to track this stuff, some aren't bothered. So I'm just going to pick a name again, I know it's proficient, and the same deal, just click the name, click the arrow, and they appear over here in the selected box. For the enrolment source details, this is, doesn't really apply unless you're one of the uh, academies, so don't worry about it there. If there's anything in particular happening on the day or any comments you wish to make, then please use this box here to type in that information. So now we come to the part of the uh, new assessment request where we actually add the people who are going to be entered for it. And at this time of year, um, some people may not be financial, so we might want to tick this box here, which will pull up people who aren't listed on the system as being financial. And there are two ways of adding them. You can either click the Get Candidates button and it will pull down everybody in the club who is deemed um, as having fulfilled the prerequisites for this award. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But you can also put in the first and last name if you're just going to put one person in here. In fact, speed things up slightly, I'll just put one name I know is going to come up on this list. And then click the Get Candidates button. 
and up comes the name and the same deal just tick them over into the selected box over here on the right and those people will be entered for the assessment now before I save this assessment I'd just like to call your attention to a couple of the buttons down here which are often overlooked um, one of the big problems people have is with the names they're expecting to see not coming up when they click this get candidates button and there's a couple of extremely useful tools for finding out about this um, but for the purposes of this tutorial the ones I want to concentrate are on the list candidates and other assessment for selected awards um, and what this does is it checks through the SurfGuard assessment database and just makes sure that the person that you want to enter isn't already listed in the assessment sometimes people get added for an award that never happens and it kind of languishes there on the system and if they're already listed in that assessment then it will not come up in this box here for the uh, for the get candidate so it's just worth checking uh, now the other really really cool feature which is a new one in SurfGuard this year is the assessment candidate qualifications check I won't click on this because we still haven't saved this assessment but we'll run through that in a later tutorial it's extremely useful and can answer all your questions to why people aren't coming up when you try to add them to an assessment so I'm going to go ahead and save this assessment now uh, it's just saying the document location is empty that's fine and the assessment you can see has now been saved. Now if I go back to the assessment request list you can see we have a couple of assessments sitting in here in the request list including the one we just created. One of these assessments is sat here waiting approval and one of them is incomplete. Now until I hit this submit button I can drop in and out of that award and make any changes I wanted to. So for instance, if somebody comes along at a later stage and decides they'd like to do their bronze medallion, I can drop back into the screen by clicking the update button and I can scroll down here and I can search for them and add them to the award and click update and it will then add them to that award. And the same goes for any other uh, aspect of the award so for instance if the assessor changes or the trainers change and you want to make any changes you can just come down here click the update button and it will make those changes now, as I said if you click that submit button it kind of passes out of your mm. control as a club administrator and into the hands of the branch and the state and you can't really make any substantial changes to the award so if somebody comes along later on and you need to add them um, to your award you'll probably have to create a separate assessment or get this deleted and create a new one. So up here you can see what happens after you click that submit button the status changes to awaiting approval and that goes off to your local friendly branch administrators or state depending on which part of the country you're living in and they will then approve or decline that assessment for you and that's how you add an assessment to the system. Now you can see some other actions here. We've got the Form 14, the Attendance Sheet and the Enrollment Form. These are all required on the day by the assessor. So make sure that you come to this page and print these out and take them down to the beach on the day of the assessment so that the um, assessor can complete the necessary paperwork and then up update SurfGuard at his end once everybody's been deemed um, a proficient um, and can be added to this award. Uh, and that's it.